Hi, it's uh, Johnny Wonder with Golf WRX. I'm the content editor on the site. Uh, we just got back from Scottsdale National, where Andrew Tursky, our editor, just got fit for his Gen 2 irons. Uh, we are down here at headquarters. Uh, Going to see them build the actual irons that Andrew got fitted for. I believe they're building them over there at uh, Bay 3. So we're going to go over and talk to the techs and see what's up. And uh, excited to see what they build for Andrew. Follow me. So there they are. There's the guys. So this is PXG Tech Lewis Holloway. Uh, he's going to be building Andrew's irons. We'll see you again. There. You? Yeah, absolutely. So what have we got going on? So yeah, we've got Andrew Gen 2 order over here. Um, he's got over 11 T, four protection wedge, Gen 2, um, X100 Tour issue, and he's having them hard stepped. Um, two flat, plus half inch, D5. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to run through, um, basically from cutting them up, swing weight, glue, and then they'll sit there for about 20 minutes. And after that, we'll be able to ferrule them up, grip them, final swing weight, and then we'll be uh, good. So interesting. Well, let's uh, let's check it out. Uh, interesting tidbit of information I just got. So, you know, when you're building a set of irons, sometimes you have the parallel tip versus a taper tip, which can cause a lot of problems for club builders. PXG kind of found a, a way to circumvent that, and they've created a, uh, a system basically that allows them to use a certain piece of technology that will allow them to build, uh, they can make a taper tip head, a parallel tip head, yep. at any given moment on the fly. So they don't have to stop, order new heads, build two different kinds of heads. So can, can you kind of explain that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so basically this? all of our heads um, on our irons are parallel. Okay. Um, obviously that saves obviously inventory. You only carry one head, you don't carry a parallel and a taper depending on what shaft you use. And obviously the way we obviously work that, when we use, for example, the x 100 we're using here, taper tip shafts, obviously parallel head. Um, we have our own ferrules, obviously fits in with the sleeve there. So it gives it a nice tight fit. Then we also use these centering pieces, which basically allow, allow us to take a taper shaft and use that in a parallel head. All right, Lewis, so you just basically, uh, you just swing weighted the heads, yep. shafts are in, now you're gonna glue them up. Yep. Um, and then after that, basically, it's just gripping them up, make sure, doing the final check to make sure that the swing weights are there. And exactly, yeah, okay. obviously, we, um, when we bend them, um, then we check the lengths again, obviously, because when you're bending them upright or flat, you can adjust the length slightly. So right. we'll double check that before we grip them, okay. and then we'll final swing weight them, and then they'll be pretty much ready to go. Ready then to go. Throw away. Okay. I'll let you back to work.
All right, so it looks like, Lewis, looks like we got the set assembled up there. They're ready, yep. they're drying. Um, what happens now? Yeah, so once we've uh, finished drying, we'll ferrule them, um, bend them, and double check the length, grip them, final swing weight, and then pretty much in the space of about an hour's time, they're very ready to hit. So tomorrow, Andrew up Scottsdale yeah. National. They'll be good to go. They're ready to go. Well, thank yeah. you for your time. I allow you to uh, Anytime. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. it. Yeah, it's been fun. It's fun. They were nice enough to let us in the uh, kind of the secret chamber, see where, the, where all the magic happens. So uh, it's been a lot of fun.